And the kids wants a an igloo made, so I'm just I'm not gonna make a real big one. I'm gonna just try to get a circle, somewhat of a circle, traced out there with my foot, something to go by, you know. So. I'm going to uh, make the igloo it right there and until now you know uh, I've been too mild actually to uh, to get the uh, build the cardio snow blocks but uh, right here now where I shovel off the snow off the roof of the house and where it came down it was really uh, condensed there pretty good and so I'm gonna cut the blocks here lying here and I kind of want to move this snow out of the way too so kind of like doing two jobs at once <laughs> so that'll be good hit the machete hands out right here oh I really hope I really hope that uh, that snow here is good give her a go here now well that's the first block right there that's the that's the start of it get the first block laid you can see after you go so deep it's a bit softer so you know it's easier if you could make really you know taller blocks but I guess you can only use what you got. <laughs> so I'll just trim it off there a little bit and level up the top there. Hand side works straight for this one. One, two, three, four, five. There's six feet uh, inside diameter, and I got the first tier of blocks put there. You know, if those blocks were twice the height, I'd make it a lot easier, but uh, but this is the snow I gotta work with, so you know, it's all I could do. But uh, I'll take more turns, and by the way, it's supposed to spiral coming up, but it doesn't have to be. Now right here you can see now I got it going uh, cut down here right to the bottom and now this will spiral as it goes around and the next tear will start right here and I'll just go around and around and around until we will be closing in on top. Jill and I got the fire pit going there. I'm working on the igloo and the little fella's making a snow fort too is ya? <laughs> there you go. He's making a snow house right there, so good family fun. Now the the snow is getting a little softer as I go in that way. You know, getting <laughs> getting good snow blocks seems like they're always a challenge. I'll hold the box for you. Man is helping, and me and Anna planning on spending the night in this igloo. Hey Anna, yeah. and we got a big old caribou skin we're gonna put down on the floor. Mm-hmm. 
We have Parmigan over there for the fence. <laughs> yeah, he sure go. Look at him. Well, I'm gonna try to get the, the roof on her today. I'm waiting for the snow that I shoveled off the roof. I don't think I'll be, be able to uh, get the snow blocks anywhere else. It's just where this fell down and compressed together a bit and froze. And even this is kind of hard to work with because you can see there's like pieces of ice and stuff there because there was ice on the roof when I shoveled it off. And uh, But you know, this is all I got to work with. So this is what I'm gonna use. Uh, be easier if you had good snow to get good snow blocks. But uh, you know, uh, never enough cold uh, weather yet for that so uh but anyway i'm lucky enough to, to have this i guess you look at it that way Soon have my quarry here depleted. <laughs> I hope I can get enough going down through there because I know that another end now is a bit soft. So we'll wait and see. Another five, six blocks. I'm, uh, I may have enough. Now uh, you know I can manage to step over the wall right here, but when I, the next block goes there, I won't be able to get in there. So uh, so I got enough blocks there and more than enough, I think. So once I steps in now, I'm gonna complete it right off. <laughs> William is making a, a snow fort too. Ah, no, I'll help you push me up. Yeah, now that uh, I'm going to stitch over the wall this time here now, I'm going to stay inside until I get an all completed. Uh, I got more than enough blocks there, I think, but uh, I can't cut the doorway in tune until the roof is closed in. So, so I'm going to final, final step here now. You know, like this block here, I have to cut on an angle, you know, to, to get in the fit up against this one and the way it's angled out, see, it kind of kind of locks them together. And then I'll chinch all the cracks and seams in with snow and all that. When that stiffens up, they like, uh, you know, they'll freeze it all together and make it more solid. Well, must say, I am happy. Got the roof on her. <laughs> Wouldn't easy, you know, with these snow blocks. And if it wasn't for that snow, I shovel off the roof, it would be nearly impossible. Uh, and you can see like some of the gaps there's a little water than I normally would want them but I'm gonna stag those really tight full of snow from the inside and outside uh, there's lots of ice like uh, gone through it and it's really hard to cut and sometimes you cut it and uh, kind of breaks away and stuff and you'll probably see a piece of ice at the corner down there and you see like because this is where the stuff I shovel off the roof of the house right so but if it wasn't for that you know it would probably be impossible to make an igloo right now so so I can't complain and later on uh, Anna wants to spend the night in the igloo and so we're gonna have a a night in the igloo later on so i'm going to cut a channel on it through and i'm going to kind of go under the igloo there a little tiny bit because i want to want to make sure all the seams are filled in everything is frozen together real tight you know uh got it done now i don't want i don't want no trouble with no damage or whatever so so that's where i'm at right now as you can see now all the seams i got them filled in with snow i cut the channel out through there and you can see i never went very high up to the side of the igloo and i'm going to clear all this old bits and pieces of black suit here now and uh, I got all the outside, uh, most all the outside chinched around with snow on it, and as uh, they're freezing, it's really setting everything tight, you know. So, so I'm gonna try to shoot here for now. Push it in the channel, it crawls out, and just shovels it out there then. Mix all those little ends, I'm just gonna shape them around. Got her done, really happy. I got the caribou skin there and put it inside and one of these nights I'm gonna spend the night in there. Anna really wants to spend the night, so really looking forward to that. As you can see from the last clip, uh, I got the tunnel put on and normally they have this entranceway barred off with uh, animal skins. And I'm gonna bar it off with something you know, later on. Uh, me and Anna's gonna have a night tonight in the igloo. And uh, I was gonna say, this is the entranceway right here. One time, you know, they cut their blocks where the entrance wave was going to be and then finish cutting their blocks within the circle of the igloo that they had traced out. And uh, 
you know you wouldn't have to get your blocks anywhere else and bring them in all your all your blocks would come from the circumference you trace it out there like uh, but you need snow uh, hard enough deep enough to be able to do that and but to be able to do that I tell you it's pretty uh, impressive you know and a well constructed igloo should bear the weight of a person on the roof and uh, I don't think I'll be getting up there but I'm pretty sure you'll hold Anne or William have to light across their belly or whatever across the roof no trouble at all and uh, uh, yeah I guess that's it uh, uh, can't really think of anything else. I'm still going to chinch around inside here a little bit of snow and stuff and uh, you know they used to use the hoodlick uh, stone lamp within the igloo. Uh, he kind of breathes a little bit you know. Uh, so uh, I'm going to take in a couple of candles tonight or whatever. I might let them burn too too long. Uh, I'm going to put put a mat or something down below this and a couple more blankets or whatever and the sleeping bags and uh, yeah really looking forward to a, to a night in the igloo. Uh, this is you know He's not a real big eagle. This is a perfect little hunting size one. Uh, you know, if you're around the land and or something, or you're, you're stuck out on the barren land, and there's no woods or anything else. You could construct one of these, and uh, and you know it's a lot better. You know, than, it's cold enough now, but when you get a bit of wind on it with the wind chill, it really drops the temperature. So, uh, so it keeps you in the, the elements anyway, the harsh elements. Uh, and so, so it was a good skill to have for sure. Uh, but I guess that's enough rambling for this one. I really appreciate y'all watching and uh, I hope to see you all on the next one. All the best from the big land.